G'day folks, Ben from Sony's. Today I'm showing you the Nature Hike Rock Hiking Packs. Get it. These hiking packs from Nature Hike have a lightweight nylon construction, can complete with rain cover for weather protection, an aluminium frame for support, and lots of pockets for storage. Before we dive in, we've got loads more content like this on our channel, so make sure you like and subscribe below. Now let's jump into the product. This is the Nature Hike Rock 40 litre, or 40 plus five, they say backpack. It also comes in a 60 litre version. With a plus five, uh, it's 40 litres, and then you can kind of extend this out the top to add an extra five litres. Now, um, they both weigh a little bit over a kilo, so nice lightweight packs. They're made to be simple and lightweight, and they're made with a 420D ripstop nylon construction, so it feels like a nice lightweight but durable construction, uh, and combine that with stretchy mesh on the outside here. They measure, this, the 40 litre in particular measures about 56 centimetres in height, about 26 centimetres in width, and around about 20 centimetres in depth. That depends on how you pack it, and obviously the 60 is a little bit bigger than that, but gives, that gives you rough dimensions of the pack there. Now we'll do a bit of a tour around the pack. Um, before we do that, we might actually start inside, and then I can put the weight in, because it's going to be easier to see it once I've actually got the weight inside the pack. So we'll open this up first, and I'll show you what it looks like inside here. So you've got a roll top closure here, so it's a big dry bag. So once you've got this roll closed like this, it creates a nice waterproof seal on top. It's not seam sealed on the inside, but it is bound. That's still going to give you pretty good waterproof protection, but if you do have anything in here that absolutely can't get dry, uh, can't get wet, sorry, and you're in a really wet environment, good idea to still use dry bags inside. Not much to see inside here. Uh, there is a little port on the side, which we'll see one of these sides here. I'll show you as we go around. Oh, it's on the top here, just for your water bladder. So you can get your water hose out the side there. But not much more to see inside here. It goes right down to the bottom. It's probably too dark for you to see there, but there's no extra pockets or anything in there. It's just one big, basically a dry bag. I'm going to slide uh, a big seven kilo weight inside here just to fill the bag out. That's going to be easier to give you a bit of a tour on the outside there. So that slides right down to the bottom there. That's filled up the bag nicely. I can then roll this over uh, a few times and seal the top up once more. Seal it up. That gives me a nice relatively waterproof seal on top there. And then you've got these straps here that Kind of double up as two things. You could put a mat or something underneath these if you like, or they just clip over to the front here as a bit of a compression strap over the top. And they're nice, just lightweight, um, just cord really, rather than a strap. They're going for all lightweight elements here. There's two of those that go over the top. You could put uh, even your water bladder or something if you like, strapped over the top here. Easy place to store your jacket underneath these straps here, so you've got it handy when you need it. Now, a bit of a tour around the outside, starting with the front here. Um, got those straps over the top. They, they attach to a panel here. You've got a small sort of pocket on the top there underneath that panel that you can keep quick access items if you liked. And then below that, you've got a big stretchy pocket, which I'll just undo this strap here for now, which uh, you could store jackets, um, you know, large and light items because this sticks out a fair way. Large light items in that big stretchy pocket there. Loops at the bottom here, these marry up with these little elastic straps up here, one on each side. They're for a trekking pole, and I've got one here that I'll attach for you. If we loop it down the bottom here, give that a bit of a twist, like this. Bring it up, we can attach a hiking pole on the front, like so, to keep that hiking pole secure there. You can do the same on the other side here, so you can fit two hiking poles if you like. We'll go to the bottom from here, integrated rain cover. So if you want to save a bit of extra weight, you can actually take this rain cover out. Got a bit of a drain hole in the rain cover pocket there. So if it does get wet inside there, the water can escape. Then you've got this just stretchy rain cover that will go over the top of the pack. Stashed in the bottom here if you do need it. If you don't need it, take it out and you save yourself a few grams in the total weight of the pack. And that just closes up with a little zippered pocket at the bottom there. So you could use that for other storage if you liked, if you didn't want to use the rain cover in there. We'll move to the sides of the bag here. So you've got a few compression straps. We'll start with this guy here, which actually runs right around the outside. So one big compression strap that attaches to the back of the pack here and wraps right around the middle and does up in the middle at the back here. So really secure everything. I've got it on the outside of the pole there, but just one very simple compression strap that runs right around the outside of the bag to keep everything secure. And then you've also got this kind of corded compression strap here. Um, I'm just going to put this cord underneath 
here or this strap underneath here to show you this because you don't have to have these in place you can actually remove them quite easily they're just tied off at the bottom here this goes up to a clip here loops through another loop here another clip here and then it's tied off at the top here so these can be compression straps if you tighten this one up here it will compress the bag through here same at the bottom you can press that there these are really just loose ends here so the compression happens in here if you leave this loose though you can actually use this to sort of secure a water bottle now you've got another stretchy pocket down the bottom here this is a, a 32 ounce so it's a one liter bottle nice big bottle there that will fit in that pocket there and then you can use this strap if you loosen it far enough or you can untie it at this end here if you like I need to loosen it a little bit to give me enough slack, but you can actually use this to keep that bottle secure on the bottom of the pack here. I still need a bit of extra slack. There we go, that's done up nice and firmly there now. And that just leaps over the top of the bottle so it can't come out. So you can use these um, cables or cords here, bag sliding off, as either a compression or to secure your, your water bottle. Same thing on the other side of the bag. You've got the same compression straps here, that strap that goes right around the bag and then a stretchy pocket at the bottom there. And then having a look at the harness at the back here, starting at the top, got that little hydration port here. There's actually one on each side. So you can put your bladder inside it and on top, uh, at, lay it across the top or tuck it down the back or just lay it on the top if you like. But if you have got it inside the bag, your hydration uh, hose can come out here and then you can just tuck the hose in through the loops on the shoulder straps here. The harness is a nice simple but lightweight harness. It's not adjustable. You do have the stabilizer straps over the top here. Goes down to nice big hip belt at the base here. A nice durable hip belt. It feels reasonably firm and thick there. So do that up nice and firm around your, your hip belt, around your hips. It's gonna hold the weight nice and firm against your pelvis. Nice big chunky um, po um, lumbar support here and then padding right up through the back here. Now this has kind of got a bit of an airy sort of feel like there's little holes in there so that will breathe a little bit but it's a nice firm panel there to stop things from sticking through into your back. And within the back here there is a, a, an aluminium frame so this is a probably about a five uh, millimeter sort of round frame that comes around the side here for support so it's not a flexible pack it's not a flimsy pack there is actually aluminium support through here to transfer the weight from the top of the the bag through to the uh, the hip belt here now you've got a few storage options too if we have a look at this shoulder strap here you have got clips here so you can attach things to it you've got a sternum strap here and you've also got this removable pouch here that's just attached with velcro straps there but this could be used for a soft bottle i suppose if you like or small water bottle or just a place for um, snacks and the like but that attaches over the top you're probably best off sliding it up a little bit so it sits higher on the shoulder strap here but you can adjust it quite easily and attach it pretty much wherever you like but that just keeps things nice and handy I'll try and slide that up a little bit to show you and i'll put this on in a sec to show you how that sits but that will then sit there on the shoulder strap more storage in the waist belt here as well little pockets on the side here there's a zip there just to keep once again accessories mobile phones cameras um, trail mix at hand uh, and the same thing on the other side here got another another pocket there to keep accessories at hand also stabilizer straps on each side of the hip belt here so all of the elements you would expect in a proper harness to keep it nice and secure on your back now I'm going to put it on my back. I'm 185 centimetres. Uh, I've got a reasonably long back. These shoulder straps feel nice and wide and padded, comfortable over my shoulder here. I'll slide it on. Uh, the main thing is to firstly get the hip belt lined up over your hips here. Now these adjust at both ends, so you can adjust both on the buckle end and at the hip belt end here. These are the easier ones to really cinch up because you can pull them forward and do them up firmer when you're hiking. So can probably just loosen up or tighten up those ones slightly and then do these ones up so that the weight sits nice and firmly on my hips there so i can feel the most of that on my hips the stabilizer straps at the back here if i tighten them up that just brings the weight of the pack nice and close to my hips and then this one's to sit, sit nice and rounded over my shoulders you can see the stabilizer straps here are loose so i'll just cinch them up firmly just to pull the weight of the pack up against the top of my uh, shoulders here so at 185 centimetres, this not being an adjustable pack, 
that's probably at the limit of where I would be. Maybe I could go a little bit taller, but that feels pretty comfortable where that is at the moment. I've got my little pouch here that will slide down. You probably want to play with the straps here and loop it through something to stop it sliding down. But I could put that somewhere else as well if I liked, or just take it off altogether. But a handy place to keep perhaps even a small bottle. You can get soft bottles with a, a, a tube. So you've got hydration at hand or a great place for snacks, uh, maybe energy gels and the like. So you've got it at hand on the trail. That's the Nature Hike Rock Backpacks, available in a 45 and a 65 litre pack. A really affordable and lightweight option for those who are looking at getting into the lightweight realms but don't want to break the bank in getting into it. These guys offer really good quality for the price you pay for them. You can check them out online at snowies.com.au. Mm -hmm.